When you go to the orca show, it's like whoosh. Yeah. Whoosh. Yeah. They literally splash waves on you. <laughs> What's up fam? I'm Elijah Perkins and this is my wife Pua. Aloha. In this trip, it was Manaya's first time so we wanted to go all out. And so we did seven different parks in six days. If you haven't checked out part one and two, go ahead and do yourself a favor and watch it. Yes, we have so much that we've already talked about regarding our family vacation from all the theme parks to the travel tips and we are finishing it out with our part three so day five we decided to go to sea world if you notice we got my sea world merch shirt which was half off by the way and then we also of course had to get our souvenir cup let's talk about sea world oh my gosh finding the place of course ways once again let us down this random place that if I didn't follow the signs we would have gone to the wrong spot. We eventually found the parking. If you didn't know there's multiple lanes which at first it seems like there's only one or two lanes but the lane that we're in like once you're in it you're like stuck in that one lane so it's the first lane that's farthest to the left. The other lane breaks off into three or four different lanes so we were stuck for a while once we got to the toll booth, whatever, we paid the parking, that was fine. Then it was just kind of chaotic <laughs> trying to get to the parking area where all four or five of those lanes end up merging into one eventually. But it was just like, oh my gosh. Thumbs down for the parking, yeah, parking at World. Yeah, they need a lot of help. I don't know if it was because we went on a Saturday. Maybe they had a lot of younger people helping. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. There were some like teenagers. <laughs> yeah, maybe it's like, you know, working. high school yeah. job, whatever. That was probably the worst parking place that we've been to. Okay, so once you get into the park, what's cool is they have these little touch areas. With touch pools. Touch with pools the fish, with the right? different uh, sea animals in there. And then they have these different areas. And then of course you can wash. They have these wash stations where you can wash your hands. So just be prepared for that if you have little kids. I mean, the kids love that area. You have to drag them away. Like, okay, let's go uh, check out the rest of the park. Come on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what was your favorite part? I definitely liked the, the live shows with the animals, with the dolphins. I thought the dolphins were good. Um, of course, um, it's not Shamu anymore. It's just the orca presentation. Orca. We definitely got wet there because we sat in the yes. splash zone and I mean the splash zone for the dolphins we did that too but the splash zone for the dolphins was like sprinkles in right. comparison it's like, to, yeah. yeah and then yeah when you go to the orca show it's like whoosh yeah whoosh yeah they literally splash waves on you <laughs> so and like and Manaya was not having it <laughs> Manaya for the first time he was like, whoa, that was crazy. And by the third time he was like done. He was like, <laughs> get me out of here. But um, oh man, it was fun. I would say the Orca place was probably the funnest place that we went to in that area. I, that, that was my personal favorite. I mean, I don't know what is on my shirt. <laughs> We're coming out of the, the shark encounter. The shark encounter. Yeah, the And shark. of course it ends at a, a gift, gift shop. shop. <laughs> So Strategic Manaya's gift. like looking at all the shark stuffed animals and I'm looking at the prices like $25 for a stuffed animal? No. We're gonna get something a little more productive and so... More practical you said. Yes. And I was like, this thing is $25. It's a nice little uh, hydro flask mm -hmm. for the same price as a stuffed animal and it has sharks on it. And then later on, we do another encounter on the opposite side, which was the turtle, the turtle encounter. And it ends up in the same <laughs> gift shop. And so we're right back there again. Manaya sees the, the shark, the stuffed shark animal. And <laughs> Jima bought him. <laughs> so thank you, uh, Jima. <laughs> 
Yeah. I will say. Okay, let's talk about food. Mm. The pizza Margarita was pretty pizza. good. Yeah. But Expensive. it was pricey. It for was like slice. 12 bucks for one slice. Not a huge yeah. slice. It was like average size, size and slice. And the food lines are so long. Yeah. So yeah. kind of pricey. I mean, it was, it tasted really good. Yeah. SeaWorld had, had good food. They were pretty good. Soda was, I yeah, think it was had, good. Um, Soda was good there. They had, we did popcorn and churros. Of course. Once you go to Disney, you get the churros, you're like ruined. Ruined, because everywhere else is like, yeah, yeah, right. Their churro was better than Knott's Berry Farm, that's for sure. Oh. Uh -huh. But it still wasn't up to Disney standard. <laughs> <laughs> wasn't the Disney standard. Disney is the standard for churros. Yeah, I would say take advantage of the shows. Be looking out for when the shows are different yeah. times. You gotta get the schedule. Yeah, yeah. get the schedule re and then like try to, if you want to get wet, sit in the splash zones. Mm -hmm. um, for us, the weather was sunny. Mm -hmm. And so I would recommend sunscreen. Well, if you're sitting in those show areas for like a good 20, 30 minutes, you're like sitting roasting in the sun. Yeah. So good recommendation people, is to yeah. have the hats or some type of sunscreen on for those things. Oh, and I also got to feed the sea lions. Feed the sea lions. That, that was, was interesting. Cool. They got some like seagulls, like they perch over there trying to steal the food from the sea lions. And <laughs> I'm still one of my fish. <laughs> like. Yeah, that's fun. Savage. Savage. So savage. There was also this one sea lion. He was like, he was, he was like waving to people. It was so cute. <laughs> I thought that was cute. Overall, SeaWorld was a, I think, a fun experience for, for Manaya. Yeah, SeaWorld's definitely different than like your normal um, theme parks with all the big rides and stuff. Mm -hmm. So. They got like a couple coasters. Yeah, they have but... a couple different things, but the yeah. experience there is, I mean, it's what the attractions, the attraction there is animals, right? Mm. It's the different shows, it's the different um, okay. uh, encounters, exhibits. I mean, if you pay extra, you can swim with dolphins, I think, or something like that. I don't know, there's different things you can do. So Manaya really enjoyed SeaWorld. But after that, we decided to go to Belmont Park. We were like, this was a spontaneous one. We didn't plan on this one, but we we're like looking at the City Pass. City Pass. Yeah. So th this is all part of City Pass. SeaWorld was part of City Pass. And then we also saw this place called Belmont Park. And we're like, hey, let's go check that place out because it's included in our City Pass. Right. And it was just five minutes away from SeaWorld. Right. So we were like, hey. Let's do another two a day. Yeah, we're like, why <laughs> not? What are we doing? Hey, Belmont Park, that place is legit. Like, if I was, if I was your siblings, oh yeah, I would have loved that place. They had so many different things there that were included, right? So normally there's like all these extra things that right? you pay that if you want to do it, but. Yeah. It was all in most most of the fun stuff were included they had a zip line mm -hmm. <laughs> i mean that was like a zip line rock climbing they had like bumper cars they had roller, um, coasters. roller coasters they even had like mini golf which we with manaya yeah we took manaya we took manaya first round of mini golf and then the only thing was else? like for the rock climbing and zip lining and stuff they needed to have Closed toed shoes, and of course, kids from Hawaii, they're wearing slippers. Kids from Hawaii so. get the local <laughs> slippers. <laughs> yeah, of course, and of course, they had like your regular park food stuff hot dog on a stick, pizzas, this. Of course, we had to try out the ice cream place because why not? It looks so good. Um, but overall, Belmont Park, uh, that was a plus. I was, yeah, that place was great. So on day six, we had to check out the San Diego Zoo Safari Park. Check Woo! it out. Of course, we got the souvenir cup. 
but funny story. The San Diego Zoo is not the same thing as the San Diego <laughs> Zoo Safari Park. Two totally different locations. Two totally different locations. Talk about 30 minute drive. We ended up going to the wrong place. Blame it on ways. And I asked him, I said, are you sure? Are you sure? Because we're going to the safari park. <laughs> and he said, he says it's the same location. So we parked at the San Diego Zoo <laughs> and walked really far. <laughs> and then we we're like waiting in the front area for Pua's mom, guys. And they're like, we don't see you. Where are you? We're here. And we're like, we're by the big lion statue. And then they're like, I don't see a lion statue. We we're went in the to wrong the zoo park. Yes. And they were at the safari park. They were at the safari park. <laughs> I was so annoyed. So we finally made it to the safari park. <laughs> Praise the Lord. So we finally made it to the safari park. <laughs> so we get there. Parking was okay. I think it was okay. I think yeah. it was it was on the cheaper side. Yeah, so we finally met up with my mom, guys, at the San Diego Zoo Safari Park. The orange um, one. <laughs> yeah, so this one was a lot like SeaWorld. It was right. a bunch of, you know, animal encounters and, you know, not a lot of rides. But they do have this, it's kind of like a safari cruise. Where yeah. it takes you around the whole property and you get to see all the, the African safari right. animals. So giraffes and mm -hmm. antelope and lions and did I say cantaloupe? <laughs> I meant antelope. <laughs> I was like, did she say cantaloupe? <laughs> I've been to Africa. So that was kind of like a nostalgic thing. Yeah, it was, you're actually pretty close to the animals and yeah, it was a cool experience when I, when I enjoyed it, those animals. I think just being on that, on that cruise, on that tram, was was cool for him. Oh, he really likes the birds on the monkey. The monkey, yeah, the monkey. There was like some petting areas. Yeah, yeah. Where I think they had the goats where you could pet the goats and brush the goats. When I was a little intimidated at first, of course, but, uh, but uh, he warmed up to it. So tell us what part you enjoyed the most. Which park or which part? Park and park. Which park and which part you enjoyed the most? Let us know in the comments. Well, I think we covered just about everything that we have experienced and done on our family vacation. And man, we haven't taken a trip that was this jam packed before. And so it was definitely one for the books and definitely a memorable time. But thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys learned something or enjoy just seeing the different things out there. Maybe you lived a little vicariously through us. Um, I do that all the time. Go ahead and subscribe and like so you can get notified when the next episode's coming out. And until next time, aloha.